Hey everyone, Billy here with Ultra Bright Lights, and welcome back to part five of our video series where we take a deep dive into the quad converter and its vast number of functions using the Phoenix Quad GPL full size light bar. If you want to see all of the parts, you can check out our quad converter playlist on YouTube by heading over to our channel or by clicking on the iCard in the top right hand corner. In this video, we will be looking at the stop and turn signals. Let's look at the default settings for your stop and turn signals. Mode 15 is your left turn signal and mode 16 is your right turn signal. Now, I have the bar still flipped around from part four so that the rear of the bar is facing the camera. This is so that you can see the bar as if someone driving behind you will be looking at the bar. So, when I activate mode 15, is your left turn signal, mode 16, is your right turn signal. Now you'll notice that the rear turn signal is red and the front turn signal as well as the alley light are amber. You cannot change the color of the front turn signal. Amber is a DOT requirement and you cannot change it. The rear however you can cycle between red and amber simply by selecting the color select button on your quad converter. Just like the arrow modes, you can deactivate modules along the turn signals as well to further customize your bar. To start the process, you'll tap the pattern select button. The first cycle of deactivation will start with the front innermost module and you'll keep tapping the pattern select and it'll keep removing modules until you get all the way down to that corner. Now once that rear corner is deactivated, the deactivation process will jump back to this middle module and work its way down. And if you want, you can have just the end module for your rear turn. Tapping the pattern select button again, we'll reset the bar. In cycle two, we'll deactivate modules in symmetrical fashion between the front and the rear until you get all the way down to just your alley light. Now, the third cycle for deactivation will do the same thing as that first cycle with the front, but it'll just start in the rear. So you can deactivate until you get all the way down, like so. Now, anything you deactivate will flash with a priority flashing mode. So when I turn on the rear flashing mode, these modules that I deactivated will go back to flashing. Another thing to point out is that anything you do to one turn, turn signal will be symmetrical to the other side. Just like the arrow modes, you don't have to independently program each side. So when I activate right turn signal, these same modules are out. They will go back to flashing mode and you're all set. Have any questions about the stop and turn signals or any other aspect about the Phoenix Quad? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our latest content. Stay tuned for part six of our series where we take a look at the brake and tail modes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.